Hello, and salutations. If you do not know my name, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl, a Johnny Alistair Jean Carlisle, more commonly referred to and known as Mr. Random and Single Player Carl across my social media accounts. The following is going to be a rundown and statement given in replies and in jest to the behaviors of one Natalie Casanova, recognized on the internet through the handle The Zombie Unicorn or Zombie Unicorn on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and all other social media platforms such as Instagram and Snapchat, that chose to lie in the last coming evening and here in the morning of today about an interaction that I had with her on my threads and in jest and written to reply of her tweets made at me where I accused and then proved that she has been violating both Twitch rules of terms of service and also Twitter terms of service. Let us begin. In the article and thread where I display all evidence which can be found here and will be linked in the description of this video, all evidence of every interaction and every word that has been said to me by her and of the reply that I made either to her or to her followers that have been disparaging and spreading false truths about me via subtweeting the truth of the matter as the facts lie. As it begins through the start of what brought this attention to me by her, I made a thread calling out behavior of the Twitch sisterhood known to the collective community of people, both myself who are streamers and the content producers and the followers who watch them or know of them as the Thoughtery Barn, as it exists on Twitch through a circle of very well popular and kept streamers who receive multiple amounts of donations and have spread multiple amounts of half-truths, lies, or general clout-seeking behavior as to cover up the truth of what it is that they do, I made a tweet at 3.12 uh, p.m. that, quote, then you should probably get a handle on Linity and the rest of the Twitch sisterhood of streamers, like the zombie unicorn, Amaranth, and the like who use their bodies as women and lie about their marital status to milk children for money. They're making near softcore porn. This being said in reply to the tweet made by Paladin Amber on July 23rd, namely, breaking news, streamers don't want to do the horizontal tangle with you. In this thread, I continue to go down to say that this has been happening since 2014, ever since Jeff Bezos bought Twitch, right around the time when Twitch became much more popular and prominent in the viewpoint of content production because of the event of Twitch does, or excuse me, Twitch plays Pokemon. Stating, the game journals protect them from the consequences and only because Alinity fucked up and got caught out that we've now been able to fully detail and expose the double standard. Linking the Polygon article where Polygon defends Amaranth because of the Twitch thought harassment that she's received, otherwise referred to as critique and criticism, that she's received due to the fact that she knowingly lied about her marital status between herself, her husband, and the lie that she promoted and put out there to the public about her status, being recognized as her followers and being told by her to her followers that she was just a single woman looking and hoping to find a date and to find love. As follows in my thread. Found here in reply to the jo zombie Jonathan, namely linking the video by It's a Gundam and showing the following content. Because who doesn't know she's married? 
Well, I was dead wrong, and I owe that dude an apology. I did not know there were people actually crazy enough to believe Amaranth wasn't married. How did they not? How could you follow this chick and not realize she's a pathological liar? Then she runs around and says she's accepting boyfriend applications. You gotta be stupid. This is a girl that went to a goddamn gym and told the gym manager who was watching her on Twitch that she didn't have a camera on her. Stupid bitch. They're like, Amaranth, there's a camera on you. And she's like, no, there isn't. That's not a camera. This is my phone. And I'm like, oh, my fucking God. Ella the day pretty much broke a story that I felt uh, I wasn't going to do. I didn't really want to post any photos of them out anywhere, like private photos. But then again, these photos are on their Facebook pages and whatnot, and even Instagram. But still, I was worried that might be crossing a line for me. But now that it's all out in the open, I could say what I want about this. What's really funny is Amaranth has got a lot of people defending her. There's even like a Reddit about dating Asian people that have come to her defense. They're demanding everyone watch the L of the Days video and mass dislike it. <laughs> Let's support a girl who makes $60,000 a month, guys. Yeah! Like, hello, assholes. That's called user engagement. If you watch the video and dislike it, it still helps him. Now, some people are arguing she has a right to privacy. I can agree to that. But on the other hand, you have to keep it in mind that she hid the fact she was married, like super hardcore. She played up being single, and anyone who says anything about her being married now gets banned on her chat, and she wants to erase the fact that she's married. She's even going as far as going after the L of the day, trying to get his channel completely taken down. Following after this, I continued to respond to them and say... The exact same things that I will have to reference to multiple times here in the moment. Namely, end quote, and Alinity and Zombie Unicorn are even worse. Weaponizing copyright strikes because you don't like the opinions of others. Lying, stealing, and cronyism to gatekeep their industry because you don't like younger, more attractive women having a shot over you. Shit's whack. Featured here is screen caps of the harassment sent and done by Zombie Unicorn, both one during E3, where she disparaged the bang energy drink dancers that were present at the event as promotional models and as dancers that were doing shuffling all day, shuffle dancing all day on stage, as well as two, evidence of verbal abuse, harassment, and general derogatory insults of a disrespectful and nerd nature by zombie unicorn showing and displayed as follows within the time period of 2017 as shown here at 4 45 p.m the following are statements made by natalie casanova i do not in good faith read these to direct the same Disrespect to the women whom she disparage. Again, I do not support, advocate, or like these statements, and I'm only reading them for the journalistic purpose of archiving and displaying them. Viewer discretion is advised. Replying to Mischievous Mal and Rockstar Flipper. Typical flimsy cunt trying to fat shame a woman with curves. Ha! So pathetic, dude. I feel bad that you'll never have the boobs you so clearly want. I Replying again, click your profile to mute and saw your pics. On second thought, maybe it's my chin, jawline, and lips you're so jealous of. You're definitely lacking. To which Mallory responds, who's shaming who? In reply to I. Jevin on January 24th, 2017, they asked to get the link to another streamer, whom she makes a tweet about, 
claiming and saying, quote, Girls screaming on IRL in a sports bra politely tell her that it's against twi terms of service, proceeds to talk shit about me and about Twitch for the next 10 minutes. To which she replies, Well, since she's a cunt, I'll say it how it is. No boobs and homely as fuck, so you won't care anyways. Lol. And featured was the Daily Caller April 13th, 2018 article written about Natalie Casanova and her history of calling women cunts. This will be important to note later when we get to the more heavy details of the abuse done by Natalie Casanova to others online and on Twitter and Twitch. To this effect, I then finish by saying that they will lie and that they always lie because it's always been about this. That this is why they do it. Referring to the amounts of donations that they receive from people who the community online have accurately replied and have named pay pigs because they are actively attempting to pay for the privilege and the access to interact with these streamers, such as Amaranth and others, who Natalie Casanova defends and actively attempts to run interference for because of the fact that they receive donations of this kind and of this quality, because these people believe that they have a chance to be able to interact and possibly even talk to or see something that happens on stream from these women, including, but not limited to, seeing them in tight yoga pants, outfits, and scantily clad clothing, to being able to interact with them and say suggestive posts, in conjecture and into reference to streamers like this, as well as offering incentives, attention, and rewards for donating to their streams in large increment amounts, including for, as displayed here on screen, the pride to show that they are the top donator and that they are the best donator monthly, weekly, or of all time on their leaderboards, and five, for the ability to watch the content of said streamer to be jacked in to all of the things that they make and to be appreciated as a fan of theirs. Most of these things are not against the TOS of Twitch. However, they are frowned upon because it is lying to an audience of people who are expecting something that they are paying to get that they will never receive. For some of these people, they are children, people who currently dominate the demographics of most streams on the website. For others, they are willful pay pigs that pay into this experience, hoping to get just a little bit of love and a little bit of attention from the desperate single waifs that just can't get a man. Even when the streamer in question has disclosed the information that they are either married or in a relationship with a partner or even another streamer they will still accept and receive and have these interactions and this information between themselves and even not just the viewers but also the moderators to this effect and in reply to this natalie casanova enters the fray by replying the following as seen here in my archives all of which will be again linked here with the description below she says in reply to what i say at i can't actually remember when unless i look at the tweet because she has since recent blocked me and or has deleted this post i'm not sure which because i do not care to go back and look however it has been archived here so you can be able to do it for your own information and reference it at your own leisure Quote, in reply to me, I literally do nothing of the sort and am never sexually engaging whatsoever on my stream. Please wake the fuck up and leave me alone. This is so fucking pathetic and obnoxious at this point. Jesus fucking Christ. In reply to this, I then reply to her. I look forward to the journalists attacking me in an article 
because I corrected your lying with evidence of the thing that I have accused and proven you having done. Natalie, either get help or stop lying. In this thread, when I reply to her, I link to the Dextero article that covers the fact that she has gone viral because she has begun weaponizing and using her body and her sexuality both as a woman, as a popular streamer, and as someone who is obviously and clearly pushing the line of what is laudable, acceptable, and noticeable on the platforms as a method to get attention for herself, to bring people to her streams, to look at her, her body, and to then hope to stay around to see other content streams like it. Because this link itself no longer works in the article, I took the liberty of displaying examples of such body painting, which has been seen and shown here. The Daphne cosplay, which comes up in search results. The Bowsette cosplay of the body painting, which also comes up in results. And a crosscut of all the streams and examples of all the streams and coverage of the content that she's produced on stream during these body painting scenes that she has done and examples that she has done. All which can be found by googling, binging, or searching with any search engine under the terms zombie, unicorn, body paint, body painting, or any combination as it requires for autocomplete. I continue to go on to say that we are all tired of this game and that it's not a game anymore, and that it hasn't been for the last five years. You all keep doing this lie where you accuse people of being upset that you're successful, when what they're really doing is they're actually tired of the collective sunbaggery and games journalists' coverage and protection. Please, please, stop. You literally will go to bat and defend anything that happens to your Twitch sisterhood, to the point of defending animal abuse, referring to Alinity throwing her cat on stream, and also feeding her cat vodka by spitting it into its mouth, by ranting about how such a good vegan you are. It's disgusting, repulsive, and abhorrent, especially since you, as a partner Twitch streamer, have a platform. I say this because being a notable Twitch streamer means that when people hear information about something that you've done, they're usually not going to investigate further into anything that goes on because they're going to see content, they're going to consume content, and they're not going to question the narrative that a person creates and builds. This will be important as we continue forward, as you will see that she begins to construct a victim narrative about how I'm just mad that she's popular and that she's a woman, and that somehow I am a sexist misogynerd, as I use as my own quote, that I'm just mad that she's popular and that I'm just mad that she's using her body in a way that everybody knows exactly what she's doing, as I say here in this tweet. Linked in this tweet is the example of her defending Alinity by taking the vegan Artemic, as well as screen caps of the very clear hypocrisy that she has when she went to E3 and made the E3 article and the E3 video calling out the bang, the bang energy drink dancers on stage, calling them falsely, booth babes, and two, going on to then say that booth babes or any kind of promotional model is not a thing that we do in current year in 2019, and that they need to cut it out because sexualizing women is bad. Quote from Velter at Amr T1 on June 27th. Zombie Unicorn, booth babes are wrong because they're women and being sexualized, and that's why I'm going to try to ban them from places like E3 and Day and, um... I believe that's GDC. I, I can't remember what GDC stands for. I would think that they were referencing games done quick, but I may be wrong. Do not quote me. Quote, zombie also zombie unicorn. Now that's what this is all about. 
hypocrisy, sexualizing yourself in public, and titty streams. Referring to the attire that she wears during such streams, the fact that she does not have to wear such attire, and that she chooses to do things, like body painting, to bring attention to herself, and to do it simply so that she can get the clout and get the buzz and get the free publicity from people talking about her either positively or negatively and going out and doing what is normally done by streamers like herself which is attacking people and using her platform to attack people attack industries and gatekeep those industries while stymieing and protecting herself in an inoculated sense of superiority of entitlement and of general female entitlement Following after it is the screen caps of what I said from the already aforementioned and displayed stream and article, as well as the screen cap of the tweet that she replied to that she has since either deleted or I cannot see as this account is banned, or excuse me, is blocked by her. It continues down where I link the video of one zombie unicorn whose coverage of this instance I use as my main point of argument, that she is using this as a form of protection for herself and for her brand, accusing that any person who attacks her, that is male, is just a sexist misogynist pig who cannot take sexy women. And also, by the same degree, when it's a woman who critiques her, either the dancer displayed on screen or Siren Cove herself, that she will be DCM, that she will be delineum, uh, excuse me, that she will be uh, Digital Millennium Copyright Act struck, referred to henceforth as DMCA, by either places like Machinima or by <clears throat> Natalie herself for the intent of deplatforming the information and ensuring that nobody hears or sees what comes to light. I go on to say, you have all of this influence and all of this power and you weaponize it and you use it to control and get special treatment for yourself and every other streamer you want to support and boost. You know what you're doing. Everyone knows what you're doing. Which I then go on and proceed to show the words of Mary Grace O'Connor, one of those dancers who she disparaged in her E3 video, whom she attacked. On screen is the following pictures of the conversation that she directs towards Natalie. These have either since been censored, deleted, or the replies from Zombie Unicorn censored or deleted. Archives can be found online if you were to look for these tweets posted at 61619. If you wish to view them for yourself, the archive, again, will be posted in the description box of this video. I continue to show the full interaction between herself and Zombie Unicorn, as well as examples of the interactions and of the rundown that Siren Cove gives about this information. I will not play all of these videos, but I will play the last video in the line that I chose to excerpt from this, because the information itself comes from the section in between where she begins reading this and where she then finishes reading it with the screen caps, which is as follows. Took a stance on something that you don't 100% understand, and that's all. I like this girl. I like her a lot. This is what feminist girls like Zombie Unicorn need to hear because they stand on their platform and talk down to women that are in positions that make them uncomfortable. They talk down to them. And that is one of the reasons I left feminism in the first place because I got tired of people saying that they were here for me and that they supported me and that they wanted to protect me when really it was just them talking crap them degrading me, them saying horrible things that aren't true because you don't understand the industry because you aren't in that industry. Obviously, I didn't do dancing, but you get what I'm getting to. It's just like you don't have experience in these fields. You don't know what's going on. You just blindly say things because it makes you uncomfortable that these young, attractive women are doing something that you'll never be able to do. <sighs> I am so 
over women like this. I'm so over it. And Zombie Unicorn is a prime example of women who are insecure, unhappy with themselves, who put out this energy on a platform that they care about other women when they do not. You don't care about other women. You don't. You don't care about anyone but yourself and your ability to make money off your sexuality and telling other women that they're in the wrong and being exploited. And you brainwash other people into thinking that these women are exploited and being hurt and used and they're being forced to be in shit when they're not. They're just being paid to do something that they enjoy doing. If they weren't being paid and they weren't having a good time, do you really think they would be doing that? Do you really think that they, they would just be on stage dancing for hours if they didn't enjoy their job and weren't being paid for it? I don't need some girl that paints her boobs on stream to tell me how to be respected by men. I don't need some girl that paints her boobs on streams to sit around and tell other people how women should be treated. I don't have much more to say. <laughs> I follow up by saying to Natalie, you disappoint me, Casanova. I have nieces that want to be streamers and content creators, and they are demotivated to do so. And they are demotivated to do so, and it is because of and is because of people like you. You dismiss things, you delete posts, and you waltz to the tune of your female privileges. You're adding lying in public, too? I shake my head at you. What's next? Claiming that I harassed you? That I lied? Because every bit of what I just said, supplied, and showed is 100% accurate, public, and true. Going to send your followers into my feed to berate and harass me? And lie in the press? Get me banned, even? Because I'd never suggest that. Below, underneath, is displayed my self-preservation disclaimer which can be found inside of my pinned tweet, where I say, and remember, please be good folks. I know the upset aggregationalists get to us all, but don't be lacking out here in these Twitter streets. Always use precaution, and always investigate your sources. Even me. We gamers are the most depressed of all. Bye bye have a good time. I continue to say, do everyone and me a solid. Stop getting triggered because you don't like the consequences of your actions. Thank you, and have a nice night. At the time, when I wrote this, I believed that that would settle the matter, that she wouldn't say anything else. She would then go on to make other statements and also do the thing that led me to have to make this thread, and also to make this statement this video and cover the details in the way that I am not only to defend myself from the constant attacks of her followers that have been in my mentions, not only to deal with the half-truths, lies, or outright fabrications or misrepresentations of what I have said to her and what she has done and said about me in her subtweets about me and in her followers' subtweets about me, and also the repercussions of the actions that she has chosen to take in lying in such a fashion. All of which I will display right now. Following this thread, she chooses to reply to me. The following. Namely something that I had to screen cap that I will now show you here because of the fact that I'm blocked and can't show it easily. If I can go down here and find it. Mm. It's going to have to go and do it the hard way, I guess. So, following this, uh, following that exchange and that interaction comes the following that had been said to her that I said in jest of her comments. Here we go. 
this one. She says, in reply to me, showing the evidence of the exact things that I said about her specifically, that was not a lie. She says, clear cookies before you try to prove something, bro. Purple means you search for body painting pics of me, and also body painting isn't sexual unless you're a sexist, sheltered, ignorant little person who gets triggered by women having body parts. This argument is dead, which it is not. Because the point being that if I can find examples of you using your body in a sexual manner and also using it to get yourself attention and clout by doing what would be seen as skirting the lines of twitch enforcement and twitch rules can be described as softcore porn because body painting on a service with a broadcasted audience of what is mainly children on a website due to the uprise of such content as Fortnite, is obvious that you're looking and searching for attention. Any kind of attention, both positive and negative, even with the occasional creep. Goes on in reference, as I continue down the thread, and as I reply to her, that wrong. Googlebot doesn't log my account tracker when I use the Googlebot user agent, and you come up in any search, including Google, DuckDuckGo, and Bing. And, to demonstrate, I showed the exact following of the searches that I had without clearing my cache whatsoever, and by turning off the Googlebot spoofer that you can see here in the upper right corner, which I will display for you on stream. As you can see, I have the default, which is shows you the current default form of Twitter, as well as my default settings that I normally use, being for old Twitter and for the ability to search without my information being cached by Googlebot, because I was not logged in when I searched it. Shown here below, with the search results for DuckDuckGo, Google, and Bing. Note that I'm not signed in. And also note that not only while being not signed in, it covers each of the two things that I referenced when I brought it to her attention. On DuckDuckGo, I have to type in Zombie Unicorn Body Painting, but it auto-completes and goes to Zombie Unicorn Body Painting, Body Paint Colors, and Body Paint Color, and Body Paint Reviews. While on Google, I don't even have to type to paint in order to get returns on body paint. Reddit, Twitter, Twitch, her age, her Bowsette body painting, her Instagram, her E3 comments, and the fact that people have been calling her a hypocrite. And on Bing, Zombie Unicorn, not even getting to the NI this time before it pulls up Zombie Unicorn, Zombie Unicorn age, Zombie Unicorn Twitch, Zombie Unicorn Daphne, Zombie U Wiki, Zombie U Trainular, and Zombie U PC, and Zombie Unicorn Discord. The Daphne and the Bowsette are the things that I searched before, which actually means when I made that tweet, searching the body painting itself to make the screen grab of all of the examples because the because the clips of them no longer function that she has indeed done exactly what I accused her of doing this continues from here where I ask her why she would lie about this because I've been using this crawler ever since the updates that have been made to the web client on Twitter which I will demonstrate for you now Note, the current layout of the website. Note that I have now turned on the spoofer. And now, see that I can be able to surf the website 
using my spoofer to be able not only to access the old form of Twitter, which I've already written the thread on, but also that this allows me to search on Google and any other Google site, as well as being able to search on the internet in general and have websites recognize me as a Google kernel, namely the Googlebot crawler. This continues. following down in the thread, I reply and continue to say, the more that you choose to assert falsehoods, the deeper this hole gets. Do yourself the favor of stopping, taking a breath, and doing anything else. For once, be responsible. Tell the truth. That's all anyone's been asking for. And also, that that's not how the uh, Google spoofer works, where I then go on to tell her how it works, demonstrating how it does what it does that i have multiples of these which are the default search engine types for the engines and showing here my googlebot extension that allows me to search the way that i do both between the old version that i used and the new technique that i use showing here that this is indeed the googlebot 2.1 crawler where I tell her, also, that's not how that works. When using a spoof, excuse me a moment. I'll find it later. Also, that's not how that works. When using a spoof, it cannot and doesn't read my information. It reads my data as what I set it and it supersedes and goes beyond ever seeing my cookies or my caches on Brave. Because that's how user agents work, Natty. Please research the tech before making false statements. For all intents and purposes of the query lookup, every single search engine assumes and is thinking that my workstation is a Google terminal. And that, here's a curious question. Why, oh why, out of all the accounts that have been dragging you, why of all of them did you choose to respond not once, not twice, but respond and attempt this weak sauce defense that only a fanatic would believe was plausible? Because I have a theory. And my theory, as, Agni, as Andy Signor will put it, is thus. That's the problem with Twitter mobs and social media justice. Malicious intent can be implied by one or two people who may not be telling the truth, but followers don't do diligent research and instead merely share the headline of the seemingly justifiable action. I quote that because what Natalie Casanova attempts here is a narrative. She attempts to paint me as a misogynist right out of the gate, just the same as she did to Keemstar when he covered this news, as is here and covered in the Dextro article on that tweet. He calls her out in the same way for the things that she said. <clears throat> and as to the degree of what she does being accepted and allowed on Twitch, here is a quote from the article of the terms of service that exists on the website, as was released in the update on March 2018 because of her stream. What about activities such as body painting and dancing? Body painting, dancing, and other creative activities that do not violate our policies are welcome on Twitch. If flagged as potentially sexually suggestive content, we will consider the context and intent of the content to determine what the reported conduct violates our policies. This is important to note for reasons that I will reference later. For now, let us continue. I go on to say that notice how she's not attempting to deny or refute that she has indeed used her sexuality as a marketing tool to bring attention to herself, or that she has produced what a common person would recognize as lewd, risque material, otherwise referred to as softcore pornography. She is instead arguing about data caches. I swear to God, you cannot make this up. And I then go on to note it and to show. Oh, and thanks for proving my entire point about the reason why I brought this up. You belittle women 
and you call them horrible, misogynistic names. You call and do the same to men while projecting an attitude of superiority and entitlement that you have. So tell me, who's the sexist again? Thanks, you repeat, sweetie. I go on to show how she slanders me by calling me someone who, if they are upset by body painting, is because I have to be a sexist, sheltered, ignorant little person who gets triggered by women having body parts. I then go on to show the examples that I showed earlier of Natalie Casanova disparaging women on Twitter.com. And not only disparaging them on Twitter.com, but this information having been brought to light by the Daily Caller on April 13th, 2018. This then prompts her to block me. And as such, I archive all the correspondence between the two of us and publicize it, while also telling her and telling my followers and telling her followers and telling my followers and anyone who is to see the article and to see my tweets and my thread and now my moment on this, that you should not harass her about this. You should not talk to her about this. And that she's going through a trying time of being held responsible for her actions. Something that she has done before and that we will see that she has done commonly any time she gets held responsible and held accountable for the abuse and for the harassment that she does both on Twitch, on Twitter, on Instagram, and other social media platforms when attempting to cover up the evidence of what she's done. Well, also, showing and telling her, because she's subtweeting about me after having blocked me, the White Knights <clears throat> have come in defense of Milady. And this is why we take articles and archives, everyone. Blocking me does not stop me from seeing what you're doing, by the by, Casanova. In which, you can see in the screen cap, that she is currently attempting to stymie herself in the attitude of the things that she's saying to her followers. Quote, in reply to Jay Eckert, Yeah, that was really weird and cringy. And like, bitch, you don't even fucking know me. That's Miss Casanova to you, you fucking weirdo. And... Lol, he's already blocked. I just think it's hilarious that they tried to use a screen cap of them searching my name and pretending that that was the first result when it was clearly the last thing he searched about me. Lol. This, of course, not only not being true, but not even being close to the point that I was making. This continues from here, as she continues to go on to subtweet about me and direct attention not only at the situation with a falsehood and a narrative claiming that it is simply because I am mad at her, but also for other reasons which I find abhorrent and also the reason that I again said and made this video and this reply to her actions. They continue in the thread by the following, namely the display capture of the media, which I showed, and this. The subtweet, which was made about me by Natalie later, two hours after I had blocked her, or rather she had blocked me and then I had then blocked her in return, namely this here. This is a screen cap from what, will now, what I will go on to cover in another thread that I made, commenting and detailing things that I brought to light between someone who asked me about Natalie having attempted to use a media takedown notice on the video content that I used to call her out on her behavior, as well as the video media of Annie Signore, as well as the video media that I displayed in general, covering these truths that I explained and that I uh, exposed, that she would then go on to say the following. Hey guys, it's not cute to be upset at women on Twitch for literally just following, excuse me, for literally just having boobs, all because your own stream actually just sucks. Boobs don't sustain viewers, personality does. And if you can't compete with a pair of boobs, what does that say about your personality? To this in the thread that I will reference soon, so truly, honestly, please lie more. I would never want to silence your truth when the truth is that you're salty that you were beat the fuck out by a black queer streamer using nothing more than archives and a spoof bot. Pick another idol to worship, my friend. Not one that's not always mad. This being in reply to one of the orbiters that had been in my mentions and who had been on the thread after they started commenting and attempting to circle jerk around her. 
as I show here <clears throat> in the archive thread, I display this caption and I cover this when I talk about what she's done here on the following. Namely, in quote, that she would later go on to delete this tweet as well as deleting other tweets made in reply or in response or in comment to me to cover up what she had done. Shown here on the archive from my web recorder account and the screen cap in question that she had made this up to 45 minutes, so around 10.55 to 10.50 to 10.55, in the late night going into the early morning of the next day, 45 minutes after, and this after being when she had blocked me. As you can see, this had, com this had gotten comments, this had gotten retweets, and this had gotten favorites. Clearly making a jest and a pass to continue to bolster the narrative that she was attacked unfairly by someone who was just mad online. When in truth, by both making this thread and doing the subtweeting that you've done, that you've deleted, and also deleting this post in question, as was archived here, that you attempted to tell a lie. And that you attempted to tell a lie to save yourself from the consequences of your actions when you realized that everything that you had done, everything that you had said, and everything that you had communicated would be used as an example and would be used as evidence of the privilege, of the entitlement, and of the abusive bully behavior done by a mean girl such as herself. I go on to note, following this, after that reply, here in this tweet, targeted and replying to one of the people to whom which I addressed amongst all of the subtweeting, from their message as follows. Here, excuse me, wrong one, the archives existing here because the tweet itself was split in half, either because of a mistake of Twitter or because of Twitter attempting to take the tweet down and then uh, re-enabling it. It reads as follows. Quote, at DN, oh my God, you painted your breasts. What will he find next? Maybe pictures from a pride parade where a guy is topless waving the pride flag and he'll complain about abs. It's paint. There's no nipple or skin showing. I believe it's out of the boundary for porn, which is not what I said. Not call it hard pornography. I called it soft core porn, meaning it is skirting the line of what is acceptable and what is laudable. To him, I reply. How about the historic accounts of Casanova calling women a derogatory word and calling them flat-chested and uninteresting? How about the fact that she lied and said that she's doing nothing sexual while streaming to a massive audience of mainly children and mainly males? How about <clears throat> the article in question, which shows the history that she has aggressively dismissing and attacking women? How about Siren the Co's video on it? How about the archives and the screen grabs of one of the dancers that she disparaged during E3, confronting her after wrongly calling them booth babes and talking shit about their profession? The threads in the articles detailing her actions and behaviors before, during, and after the Bully Hunters initiative tanked. And the evidence of her harassing creators with false DMCAs. Do you normally lick milady's toes this much, or do you like poking cheeks all on her stiletto high heels? In the thread, and seen here in the media, is the article from the Daily Caller, which I referenced, the testimonial from the dancer, the videos that I extracted from Zyron Cove's content, and seen here, a post from Velter displaying the hypocrisy that she showed during E3, using her body to promote herself and to get views and also posting material of herself making suggestive photographs 
as was linked across her Twitch and across her Twitter and across her Instagram from where the video that she made was taken. The hypocrisy of calling out the promotional models and by calling out the dancers and claiming that it's not acceptable and should not be allowed in the at the E3 Expo that this kind of model and this kind of promotion be done while at the same time using this on stream to make titty streams and also sexualizing herself in public at E3 while also having the stymied hypocrisy to attack people who critique her for her actions as well as having the audacity to attack other people who are working in an industry that they choose to be in claiming that they are victims when they are not. Or, and including, the attacks and the actions of Natalie Dunn directing it towards content creators such as Mr. Medicare and the likes of people like myself and the likes of others and the likes of Siren Cove that if they rebroadcast the likeness and the information that they display that they will be hit with a copyright strike and that she will shut down their channels to silence YouTubers who cover the topic like who cover the topic in question and that they should just quote have their own discussions and make their own content claiming that it is a means of harassing her for calling out her behavior. This being in reference and being replied to Mr. Medicker and those talking about this content during the windup of the Bully Hunters Initiative. Quote, now since Steel Series is so anti-bullying, what is their stance on their own spokeswoman for the Bully Hunter Initiative calling people faggots on stream? This, of course, being taken from the streams where she disparaged other people by calling them, quote, faggots, while playing Counter-Strike, or whatever war game it was that she was playing. Included in this is the screen caps and all of the archives of the disparagement that she had done before. Namely, that she had decided to harass people, calling them cunts, insulting their appearances, and generally disparaging them on a regular behavior. Included with this is the screen cap in question, taken from that tweet by Medicare, where they talk about how she is bullying people off of YouTube, as well as using it as extension to bully them off of Twitch and off of Twitter and off of Instagram by accusing them of harassing her. And because this thread was cut in half, here's the other half of that thread. Continuing onwards, where I say, according to the worldview of the beta orbiters, the people who are supporting her in her threads, her subtweets to me and in general believing her narrative and believing women that according to the worldview of those people who support her during these trying times all of these women critiquing her don't exist and even if they did exist that they are also all of them are not women and that they're trolls and that i am a troll because i used evidence archives and facts to prove what she claimed that i accused and lied about her about and that she's having a normal one. Following the links of the threads themselves, of the things that I accused her of. The post that she made in defense of Alenity, part of her Twitch sisterhood, where she says that people are just outraged for no reason because they're mad and upset about Alenity throwing her cat when they still eat meat. Note the ratio! On the post. And the comments from the dancer. The exchange that she had with the dancer. And the exchange that the dancer finished off with. And the video evidence from Siren Cove. All rights reserved. I go on to say. Pass the message along to the rest of your followings. Try not to cry too loudly. Referencing that the thread now has more people commenting on it, for which this comment was the one that I am replying to in this thread. And that here in this thread, they go on to attempt to pat themselves on the back and poo-poo about what I brought to her attention. I go on to say accurately that 
Natalie did not want to block me because she chose to comment because she was looking to stymie and create a narrative. She was looking to get me to comment and attack her. Quote, she chose to comment because she thought she'd be able to get me to attack her personally and then use that to cry wolf. She didn't get what she wanted, so she hid, she ran, and she tried to delete tweets. Referencing the tweet where I call her out and she attempts to sidestep the fact that the evidence not only is true, but is also correct, and that she is attempting to claim that it was the way that she claimed that it was, and attempting to use her attitude and her privilege, as well as her ego, to claim how I should speak and how I should address her. I go on to say that this, of course, <clears throat> is predictable. I go on to make more statements, referencing the fact that she had done the subtweet, and the other subtweets that she's deleted, and the other subtweets that her followers have that, that, that listen and believe her narrative have done and subtweeted, as well as all the comments that I've received, as well as the harassment that has come from this, quoting and saying, that it's never going to cease to be funny how the big power feminist streamer wants to pretend that she was manhandled and brought to her knees by the big black, like by the big bad black man. All of these women calling you out, but it's me that you wanted to personally reply to and come for. I see through you. Hugs and kisses. Clown world. Cutting back to this, I say to her, based on this action that she took, so truly, honestly, please lie more. I would never want to silence your truth when the truth is is that you're salty that you were beat the fuck out by a black queer streamer using nothing more than archives and a spoof bot. And I say to the Orbiter, who I am replying to here, pick another idol to worship, my friend. One that's not always mad. I then remind my following, and also remind her, since she was using the account information at the time, looking at me through the block, like through the block that she put up, to look at my tweets and to see what I said, and her followers doing the same likeness, that do not harass or reply and target the people who are screen capped and screen grabbed, because they are liable to gank your accounts if you do. While here, linking the thread and showing where it is that it was disconnected. Cutting back to her talking here in this thread, I would like to display a couple of things, namely shown here, that from a user like Unganagi. Normally, I don't get into this stuff, but it's really odd that the fact that you would call out someone whose career is dancing for being sexualized when they aren't, and you do that yourself naked on stream, though, and you just dismissed it because of an irrelevant observation. And then, bruh, you were calling people cunts and faggots, and you're still an anti-harassment figure? Shaking my head. From here, continuing on through the archive thread itself. It continues all the way down to where I give my final statements on the matter in the thread and in whole. Namely, and quote, final note. This isn't the first time she's done this. Lol, they're just mad and using me for attention excuse. She attacks men and women and she insults the bodies of men and women. Natalie Casanova doesn't care about anyone but herself and her money. Her attempt to subtweet me is proof. And that these are the stats, my Twitch page, my Twitter page, my YouTube page, and the actual growth of my channels, that she was attempting to shade and mock. Let me say aloud, I don't fucking care about my fucking stats. I care about the community of people who support me and supporting the people of people who I like who deserve it. No amount of clout will ever fill the empty hole in you, Casanova. 
and that considering where I started from with when, where I am, and where I came from, and how long I've been doing this, and the new threads and growth that I've had along the way, that I am literally in the embodiment of the grind that she attempted to shame me with, and that it really puts into perspective how petty she is when you think about it. I say this because in reference to what she says to <clears throat> Keemstar, she says here, quote, if I can find it, right here. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I can respect the grind to be, su like, to be successful, but I don't agree with the way of you going about it. Clickbait and outrage, pseudo-journalism, and trying to ruin people's lives or instate drama with fake retort on slow news days is a dislike in my book. This would continue, the, 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 harassment, the harassing comments from her followers, both either directed at me, at me in my threads, or in their own threads, subtweeting about me and the lies that she put out there covering this topic because she did not want to actually face what she had said to me and the things that I had accused her of and the things I had proven in the affirmative. But it would go on that I would need it and find it necessary to tag other people about who this was also targeted and important for, namely in the fact that she, Natalie, had said this in defense of Alenity, the statements that she had made in defense of Alenity, and that the only reason that all of this was possible was because of Alenity being put under the iron because of the tweets that had been made by Still Gray, Ian Miles Chong, when he called out Alenity for her behavior and her actions on the platform. Both the platform of Twitter as well as the platform of <clears throat> Twitch, which I will show to you here. Namely, that she was an animal abuser. This tweet having been set at 10.42 a.m. July 19th, 2019. Guys. Milo! And again, another follow-up post here. At 10.47 a.m. on the same date. Do vodka. Vodka kiss. Because of the fact that the entire pos like that it was entirely possible for me to be able to make the information, the to do do the research, to cover the topic, and to then expose that information to the public for their knowledge and their viewing, it is that same reason why I tagged Ian Miles Chong, the news desk of BitChute News Shoot, as operated by <clears throat> one Nick Monroe. And one of the employees, who is an affiliate of Hypebreak, the editing, the, the, the publication, which Still Gray is an editor of, on the tag for the post that was made, showing her the truth that I had to give her. Quote, written by Nick, Please never tag me in a thread about zombie unicorns boobs ever again. Thanks. And that he follows up and shows that, yes, he indeed sees what's happening and that he's witnessing it and that he's documenting it as well. Because, as I say there on the thread itself, that I needed witnesses in case I disappear due to a sudden gay ops in my account. Referring to the fact that when streamers usually get caught in their behavior, they will signal dog whistle or direct their followers and direct their viewers and direct people in general to go dogpile and harass and mass flag accounts 
as had been done to me in the past before, and has been done on the platform before, when dealing with people who will lie about information and delete tweets and posts, if not outright get protected by Twitter, if you report them for doing violations of the Twitter rules and terms of service as well as the Twitch rules in terms of service, or the fact that on the terms of cross-platforming, that the actions one takes off-platform, such as the ones taken on Twitch, can be used against you if found on a place like Twitter as a method and as an example of how one must be deplatformed and would be banned from the service for violation of their terms of service. It is because of this and all of the information that I have to offer to you, the public, and because of the actions of Natalie Casanova, that I must issue the following statement. <clears throat> I, a Johnny Carlisle, do not recant or refuse, excuse me, I do not recant and I will not take down the tweets, the videos, or any other direct tweet at Natalie Casanova because Natalie Casanova attempted to use her platform to deplatform another streamer. She claims that she is a protector of the abused and the harassed. She claims that she is a protector of the community. She acts high and mighty in public, and she touts herself as being anti-harassment and a advocate of positivity on the platforms, both on Twitter and on Twitch. When the evidence, as shown here, proves to the contrary that she is not. She is a bully. She is a bully that uses her platform. She is a bully that uses her voice. She is a bully that uses her reach and uses her influence, both over the public narrative and over the narrative of believing women in such movements such as hashtag me too and hashtag believe women, that when she says something, it's true. And that when she puts something out there, that it is her opinion and that it is her privilege and it is her allowment that she can make statements of harassing quality to women and men and claim that the reason they she is attacked and that she is lauded against and that she is popular is because she is a popular streamer with a vibrant personality and two breasts to boot. When in truth, the reason Natalie Casanova, the truth of why Amaranth, the truth of why <clears throat> ST Peach, the truth of why Casey Tron, the truth of why Alinity, the truth of even in the case of Pokimane, or any other streamer noted and referred to in consort and in inclusion as the Thoughtery Barn, as is referred to, to the kind of girls on Twitch who are streamers who get away with severe levels of egregious violations of the terms of service, are given passes. They are defended by the mainstream media. They are defended by publications such as Kotaku, Polygon, <clears throat> Destructoid, Rock Paper Shotgun, and websites of community forums such as Reset Era and Neo Game Forms as being a victim of circumstances and the victim of harassative dude bros that call them out of line and have nothing more to offer but outrage and anger. When in the contrary, as can be shown with the examples I have here on the thread and in the moment, that in actuality, the way that things tend to work out is a person of clout and information and behavior <coughs> constantly can be able to get away with the worst kind of offenses and the worst kind of gross offenses. Namely, if you're a person like Alinity, who on record admitted that she claims that she too is against harassing behavior across and on platforms, a person who will issue copyright strikes just as Zombie Unicorn has and has threatened in the past and has continued to threaten to myself, to Siren Cove, to Still Grey, and others like us who critique her actions and her opinions and her statements and her behavior 
both historically and in current year on the platforms. If you're a person like them, who makes that good money, you can commit actions of violation and you'll be considered acceptable content because they either A, as Keemstar has reported recently, which I will show you, where Keemstar will <clears throat> at Linity and say that she knows that she and other girls like her have dirt on Twitch staff that she'd like to not display and would like to bring up and hold over them so that she can be able to get special and useful peripheral treatment on the platform where a man, if they were to do the same thing, if they were to say the same things, if they were to act and behave the same way, would instantly be permanently banned off the platform. If you are not one of these kinds of people, you instead will be the one banned. Now, I do not know the name of the streamer on the other side of this graphic that it's referring, but as we can clearly see, all the things that I said that these kinds of streamers or want to do is as it exists. Take for a moment to witness the graphic yourself. And as Keemstar covered when he announced that he had this dirt and that he knows that it exists and that he's going to drop it, she would then come at him and say that he made up completely false things and that it was a low blow to direct this to her where others would then begin to ratio her because it's hard to make up something <clears throat> that is completely and definitively true as is most of these streamers all want to do as are the comments that was directed towards her as was the interactions made between Jor like Jordan Sloan and Keemstar quote so she's literally blackmailing them or that they're scared to ban her because of this and that she is really one horrible human being. Where to which Kim Star replies, I don't know if she is blackmailing them, but I know that she has dirt. Obviously showing a little bit of some hyperbole to make a very poignant point to the attention of the audience and to bring it up in conversation. Again, I will not be recanting my statements or my interactions with Natalie Casanova. I will not apologize for the statements that I have made to her because of her actions. I made this explicitly because I do not like and I abhor the actions of such bullies on the platform. I make this video long-winded as it might be, because it is important to me to both defend myself from the slings and the arrows of somebody who can simply lie and be accepted and considered telling the truth by the mainstream media and article writers such as very serious games journalists like Ian Hamilton, who would lie about people like myself in the press because it's easy and easier to disparage us and to make up half-truths and to represent what we say as half-truths than it is to just tell the truth about what they do and what I've said and what, inter and what interactions transpired between us. I am disappointed. I am disappointed not just in the websites like Twitter and Twitch. I am disappointed in Natalie Casanova. This is the quality of people who speak for you and me. These are the reasons why I recently started to take this more seriously and decided to start making this content. It is because of this behavior that I made that thread and that I made those replies. It is because of the intensity and passion in which I have these values that I hold, the core values which drive my brand and drive my attention to cover news of this matter. It is because of these things that I feel passionately about them to ensure that I bring it to the face of those who would seek to lie about what they've done and seek to poo-poo 
the fact that they are being talked about. It would be my suggestion to the likes of those who will continue to subtweet, who will continue to send me harassing information, send me harassing tweets, and send me death threats. Please, continue. I would never seek to silence your truth. And to Alinity, and to Amaranth, and to the rest of the women who would be considered Twitch thoughts, as well as Natalie herself. If you feel you need to use your body to make up for the fact that you know that if you didn't have those things that you were offering them, the expectation from your lives that they could be able to have a chance with you, if you didn't sell them that half-truth, if you didn't sell them the use of your streams with titties out, with boots out, if you didn't body paint and then profit off of the resulting clout from said body painting, if you didn't feel that you needed to do these things even though you think that you had to, if, if your suggestion to me, directed at you, Natalie, if your suggestion to me is that my personality isn't interesting enough to bring people to my streams, if your suggestion is that I can't compete against a pair of tits, what's your excuse for getting mad at a couple of dancers on stage at E3? That summarizes and ends my statement. As already previously mentioned, the evidence and the content of this video can be found in the description below. And it would be my suggestion to any and all those who witness and watch this video to not direct harassment at Alinity, at Amaranth, at SD Peach, at Natalie Casanova, or any other individuals who have been screen capped, covered, or referenced here in this video at all. Do, please do not contact them. Please do not harass them. Both because that they consider criticism as harassment and harassment as violence, but because we don't need to. Because this video does everything it needs to and more. The evidence will stand on its merits. Thank you for listening to my message. And have a nice day. I'll see you guys next time. Good night, everybody.